Yeah, it was you know a real um, pleasure to be invited to become a patron uh, for uh, Screen and Film School Birmingham, and you know I thought well that's just fantastic to become a patron is is a real honour, a real pleasure. Um, but then when the suggestion was made, is that would I like a scholarship to be awarded in my name? I, was, I just almost fell off my chair. Really, it's a, absolutely godsmacking to and a real honour, a real privilege to do that in a city like Birmingham, my hometown, my home city, in a in an industry that I really care about, about telling stories and you know, if, and if we can do whatever we can to help people tell their stories in any small way, and this is quite a huge way, um, then that can only be a good thing. Well, it's £30,000, which is a lot of money, so that will cover their fees for their entire degree course, you know, and I don't think that just, you know, it can be a very daunting prospect, you know, having to go to university or go to any school, particularly film school where there's, there are sometimes stigmas attached that, you know, is it the right thing that you should be doing? Is that where we should be putting our money, you know? Um, so I, I think this will this is, uh, really help uh, students not, do not have to worry about those financial concerns, you know. And then on top of that, it's not just about the financial aspect of it. Uh, in fact, you know, I've sort of decided I will mentor them as well and try and play an active um, part in their development at the school. And, um, you know, actually, when we shortlisted it, um, we couldn't really decide out the final three. We got down to three and we couldn't really decide. So we decided that I would mentor the final three, all three of them, and then award a scholarship to just one. And the, we gave a scholarship to Yonatan Tarune. He's just a fantastic young man, really is an incredible young man, with an incredible personal story, which hopefully he'll get to tell one day. Um, and I think, you know, he's the, the sort of promise he shows is just incredible. Um, but equally, uh, I was uh, Anna Piggott Reeves. Uh, Anna's, I think she's one of the, uh, for her age, She's a complete all-rounder. She seems to have everything capable of filmmaking, um, script writing, uh, f fantastic presentation as well, really solid. So we um, decided that I'll mentor her. And Fahad Rahman, who, Fahad Rahman, I think, I, I've not met him yet, but I, I get the impression he doesn't really need anybody's help. I think he's, you know, he, he seems so confident. His work feels so confident. He's, he's got a real vision already, I think, of what he wants to do. Um, but hopefully with, with the school support and what help I can give him, he can try and realise those, realise those dreams and visions that he has. So, yeah, it's exciting. Really, it's about storytelling. And what, what we want them to do is have the confidence and the ability and the space to be able to tell their stories. And really, success can come in many ways, can't it? They will hope that they will, they will pass with flying colours and they'll get their qualifications. I'm absolutely sure they will. Of course they will. But really, the, the real um, success will be their personal development. It's, it's them as, as people, really, as storytellers. We're always we're growing up, we're learning, we're becoming more confident to tell our stories. And I think, you know, hopefully, not just you know the, the three who are in the final shortlist, but all the students at the film school will, will grow up to have a you know, better understanding of who they are as people, really. And, and I think that's, that's really important. Absolutely, I think it's absolutely fundamental because, yeah, there are, there are people from many different backgrounds, ethnic backgrounds, uh, poorer backgrounds, different classes, women, you know, girl, young girls, who just feel that this industry is not for them. This jo you know, there's no way, you know, anyone's going to pay them to write their story. No one wants to listen to their story because no one's listened to them for their entire childhood lives and they can see from their parents that they haven't either. So, um, so I think it's really important that um, we support those, th those young people and particularly in a city like Birmingham. It's, it's just crucial, really. It's the only way we get through, you know, really difficult times, the darkness that we have in society, and Birmingham's got its fair share of issues like any other city, the only way you get through that, it's actually not through politicians, it's not through pu public policy, it's through young people being able to tell their stories. And if we can do that, and we get all these young people with confidence, telling their stories, sharing their similarities and differences with each other, I think we'll have a better society, and Birmingham's going to lead with that. Good. You were uh, sharing your Q&A with some of the students today. Will you be coming back to the school when it opens in the autumn? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course I am. I mean, look, I mean... There's, there's, there's many different motives for me. A, I just want to see these, you know, kids do really, really well. You know, it's really important, really important for the city, really important for the school. 
But look, I'm a producer of, t of television and film. God, what, you know, this is great for me. I mean, there could be writers here. We're like, God, come on, let's go and work on something together. Let's get your career going and let, get it, you know, let's get moving. Let, well, you should meet that person. Come and meet that person. I'm so excited by that. You know, it'd be great. So, um, yeah, I, I can't wait. I hope this is a long-term relationship. I really do. I know, it's incredible. I mean, we're, we're sat here doing this interview and there's sort of like some daytime rave going on over there. And it's a Saturday afternoon. It's just great. No, it's brilliant. I mean, it's fantastic. My, actually, my early, one of the early memories of Digbeth is A, getting the bus through. My dad was a bus driver around the corner at Liverpool Street bus station around the corner from here. You know, and he used to, you know, I used to go and sort of meet him after work or, you know, we'd go and pick him, me and mum would go and pick him up if he didn't have his car or whatever. So it's, you know, it's, it really does have a, a lot of nostalgia for me, but it's fantastic. It, it, you know, we're, we're in a real creative uh, part of the city now and I know this is going to be a big place where lots of media and film is eventually in studios hopefully fingers crossed will will, will happen in, here in this in this area uh, and it's uh, yeah it's exciting it's really exciting to see what where we'll be in it just I think in just a couple of years time I think it'll be very different